I love the, the countdown, eh? So we're on. Woo, everybody. I said we're coming right on. Uh, well, I didn't. I thought maybe. They're... Hi. And we are cooking creme brulee <laughs> with a microwave today. <laughs> Canadians have challenged me. Yes. You're going to challenge me. We yes. uh, started a pad thai earlier. Now we're going to make a creme brulee. I'm talking a lot right now because I, I, I'm not worried about how much time it takes. I feel confident that this is only going to take a few moments, okay? Right, right. So we have a few ingredients to talk about for the creme brulee. What do you got in there now? You're melting something? I've got some 35% melting. cream right here. Uh, I took 35% cream. Yeah. I took some cinnamon, cinnamon sticks and into a bowl, a microwave, microwave safe bowl, right. they go in. And right. for about two minutes, right. We're going to steep these flavors together. Cream, oh, cinnamon. Okay. Okay. You know what I found? I think the microwave has uh, suddenly uh, in the last few years taken a back seat, but no longer, my friend. You're putting it in the front seat. Well, I am a chef, and I like saving time. I also have a young family. I like to spend time with them. Any way I can save some time in the kitchen and without compromising quality taste. Like, I'm going gourmet yeah, using You don't want to mess up the flavor. You don't want to mess around with that. No. And that, that doesn't have to be so with this new inverter. Yes! Oh, you're on board. I, I love it. Uh, okay, so look at this. We've got a whisk for you. Whisk! We have a bowl. Three egg yolks. Egg yolks. In the bowl, you're whisking. I'm we whisking. sweeten them I'm with some granulated sugar mm. and really Good. get that elbow grease in Thanks there. Thanks for bringing the left-handed whisk, too. Oh, yeah. Okay, get in there, I Kurt. I want to get those look, pale and blonde. I'm going like a madman. I've got some cream coming out of here. And basically, after two minutes on a power level of ten, we start getting that commingling flavor of cinnamon to cream. When you say that, I think we should touch rings or something. Okay. All right. I don't have any, but... Oh, well, okay. You know, when you get to the power of ten, I want to touch rings. Kurt, full on cutting board, what? we're about to do something called tempering. Classic French term where we take our cream <laughs> and we gradually incorporate it. Am I doing it? it? Yeah, Am I no, doing if this? you don't, it's going to turn into scrambled eggs, sweet scrambled eggs. But we're getting, this, <laughs> we're getting that cream... Scented with cinnamon in. Look at you. With the egg. Pouring without letting the cinnamon stick get into the bowl. Totally. And uh, with this, we now add some vanilla extract. And that's it. We've had, uh, we have our, our cinnamon, our vanilla, our sugar. Is this sugar. the creme part? This is a creme because a brulee <laughs> is coming. Uh, creme brulee, burnt cream. That's where we take the torch or your broiler and we. Yes, done. You're done. Oh. You're, you're, you're done. And I could hardly stop myself. Now, look, now this is where it's very traditional still. Uh, with using a microwave, this water bath doesn't, uh, well, it, it still continues to happen. What, what are those little do? cups called? They've got a name. They do. These are ramekins. 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 Uh, great for, you know, putting your mise en place in there. That's your, all your ingredients. Who came already. up with that name? Uh, ramekin? Yeah. Uh, Sir Arthur Ramekin, I believe. Oh. Uh, legendary chef. Of course. Uh, and with that, we about. take our cream. We do our water bath, being very careful not to get any of that hot, hot water in your creams, right? Right, this is just to cook, it's not to actually bathe in. No, it's not, but, but <laughs> these are bathing in there, and what's happening is they're softly cooking, okay? okay. So into the microwave they go, right? just like so. Into the, the inverter. Yeah, that's right, or you can call it a genius. Um, right, is this from Panasonic and Panasonic only? Yes, it is, they're the only ones with the inverter technology. Right. Okay. Uh, and so we kick up, a, we drop the power here. Oh, yeah, oh, we drop it oh, to oh. about a five or a six. Oh, we wouldn't touch rings at all. Oh well, and then we <laughs> we give it about four minutes there. All right. Okay. Now look, when it comes out, it needs to sit in your refrigerator for about an hour, maybe two, just to firm up. Okay, it's cream, it's custard, and let's get that out in the open. It's a custard. Right. But there's still some fun to be had. Right. And when I say that, Oi! we take our torch. Right. And we very carefully cook the sugar, caramelize the sugar on top. You don't want to go too far. No, you don't want to go right? too far. You don't want to burn it. But you also don't want to leave granules of sugar on top. And actually, you know, creme brulee is burnt cream. But, but you, you don't want you to overburn is you what don't. I'm saying. You, right? don't. you want a nice crispy, crunchy dish. Is this how you do it traditionally? Traditionally, yes. You know Wait. what I mean? Like if you're making creme brulee not in the microwave. Uh, this part's very much like the original, the traditional way, as you say, right. uh, because you have to take a torch. Now, if you don't have a torch at home, you can swirl it around a little bit to try and get that candiedness On dispersed. Oh, maybe take a couple gooseberries, cape berries, you know, with the nice little husk. Maybe take a plate like so, dress what's it the, up. What's the address again? That's Panasonic Cooking Canada, found at Facebook. Challenge me. Uh, this recipe was a challenge. And Key lime pie. I like that challenge. I, I see a key lime pie in our future. What do That'd you think? That'd be good. Yeah? Someone could go ahead and use that. Right. Because I, I don't qualify to. 
win. Well, if I see a key lime pie come up, I'm going to guess that's you. Yeah, but I'm not going to. I'm actually asking someone to to to, to, to take suggest that? that. Okay. And put key lime pie. And maybe. I'm going to get a hundred key lime pie suggestions then. Oh. Okay. So we'll know the truth, you and I. You know, Kurt. People for years have had good luck doing soups. Um, yeah. In the microwave, we did like a potato leek with asparagus, yeah. uh, and then I put a little red pepper in a jelly. microwave. In a microwave, we did the pad thai. Yes. I was able able to do a ratatouille. Uh, ratatouille. Yeah, tomatoes like a casserole, an Italian rustic casserole, eggplants and whatnot. You gotta but, go. Okay. Well. All right. It says, look, it's almost over. Yeah. yeah. Well, how about that though? I think we talked about I a lot. I think Michael P. Clive, thank you for coming again, and I Woo. think you should try this uh, sky venture in Montreal next time you're there. Yeah. You fly around like like it was. It's an indoor sort of parachute thingy. I don't know. My body's kind of lanky. I could snap and two. You're perfect for this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Maybe for some comic relief. Yeah. I was going hard with laughter. Oh. Uh, we'll be back. Hour four is coming up next. <laughs>